Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here, and in today's video, I want to take a look at Fantastical, a new calendar application for your Mac. So let's go ahead and take a look. So once you've installed Fantastical, you will see an icon in your menu bar up here, which will let you access it, or you can use a customizable sh uh, keyboard shortcut to access it. And let's go ahead and open it up here. Now, Fantastical uses a natural language engine to uh, extract details from what you type in for your event to actually create that event. So let me just give you a little quick little run around of the interface here. Here you'll, you have where you'll type in your event here. And then next to this on the right you have a little search. So you have many different events in here in your calendar. You can search through those, say you want to search for ones for work or you want to search for, for ones with uh, uh, your name in it or your son's name or whatever, you can search there for it. And then down below you have uh, the uh, options menu, you can go in here and change the preferences and that's, that is where you can go in and uh, change the customizable keyboard shortcut. But let me go ahead and show you how you can actually enter uh, event here and we'll go Far forward in time here and to October and say we have you have a meeting you want to you have to go to and we're going to type in meeting October 5th and it's from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and it is at the bank so you just type those, uh, type it right in there like that, and you hit enter, and it'll put that event right in there on October 4, 5th, as you can see here, meeting, and we can click on this, and it'll give us the details, location, bank, from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So there's that that easy to enter uh, event in uh, Fantastical. Now the natural language engine that extracts the details from what you type in right now only uh, recognizes uh, the English language. They are working on um, implementing other languages. Fantastical also works with your own calendar application. Say if you use iCal or uh, BusyCal, you can use those applications along with Fantastical. It works with the following uh, calendar applications, iCal, BusyCal, Entourage, or Outlook. You can even use it with uh, Google Calendar or even Yahoo Calendar. You just simply got to add those to iCal and you're all set to go. Now let me show you how this works with iCal. I have iCal open here and let's go ahead and open uh, Fantastical here and we'll go over here till November and we'll put in here um, Brittany's birth birthday November 15th 2011 and this is an all-day event, and we'll put at home. And we'll go ahead and enter that, and you can see here that we have this event on October fifteenth or November fifteenth, right here at home all day long, and it put it right over here in uh, the in my iCal application right here, so you can see this event over here too. So it seamlessly works with iCal and all those other calendar applications that I mentioned. So just uh, one other note here I wanted to mention in this review was that uh, right now the only downfall I see to Fantastical is that you are unable to delete events uh, in this current version. They are uh, working on implementing that in a, a future version, but currently you cannot... Uh, uh, edit events or even delete events so that kind of seems like it should have been put in from the beginning but it's not available right now um, you can get Fantastical from the Mac App Store or from their website for $19.99 um, if you have any comments or questions you can leave those down below and I'll be happy to try to answer those um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up as that always helps me out and uh, if you have any other comments or questions, leave those down below. And don't forget, you can hit the subscribe button up at the top so you can be notified of all my uh, new videos on your YouTube homepage. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.